We are at Disney Sea in Tokyo, Japan. This is the only Disney Sea that exists right now, and it's inspired by the myths and legends of the ocean. Today we're gonna explore it. Let's do it. Let's go. First impressions of Tokyo Disney Sea is that it is a whole nother world, just like other Disneys around the world. There's a huge volcano right in front of me. It's decorated for Christmas. There's Christmas tunes blaring out. I love this vibe. <laughs> so we just entered the park and now we're at the Mediterranean Harbor part of Disney Sea. It literally reminds me of Italy with the gondolas, the water, the architecture, so fun. It even says toilet in Italian. <laughs> You're in a whole nother world. Hey, how's it going? Good to see ya. What's up, Alan? What's up, man? Nothing. How you guys been doing? Nothing. <laughs> Hey, Brandy. All right, we're just about to ride the Indiana Jones ride, and it's apparently based off of the Temple of the Crystal Skull movie. We're super excited. Let's go. We're super lucky because today joining us are Alan and Brandy from If We Go To. Hello. Hi, glad to be here. We're super excited to have friends with us today. It should make everything like three times more fun. <laughs> Classic Disney, just waiting in line. <laughs> so we have been to Guatemala and the Indiana Jones, the Temple of the Crystal Skull ride looks exactly like it. You can literally see either temple number one or temple number two, I'm not quite sure, right there. It's crazy. But it is wild. It literally feels like we just teleported there. I know. <laughs> wow. Literally so excited. <laughs> The details are crazy. Yeah. Arigato, gozaimasu. That was so fun. That was awesome. I love Indiana Jones. It was <laughs> wild. Like, I forgot that it would be in Japanese, but it, you know. <laughs> Next up, Little Mermaid. I loved Little Mermaid as a kid, still love Little Mermaid. She's my favorite ever. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can we cue a bunch of pictures of Rika as a little girl dressed as Ariel right now? <laughs> I was Ariel every year for Halloween. So excited. <laughs> Literally feels like we're underwater right now. Where is Sebastian? That's my question. Look at that. I want to go to the gift shop real quick. Look at this. Christmas stuff, so fun. Rika, did that satisfy all your dreams? It was very cute. It felt like I was underwater. There was a ton of little kitty games. It would be definitely fun to hang out with young children and family there, for sure. So there are several different ports all around Disney Sea. We first started out at the Mediterranean one, then we went to Mermaid Lagoon and got to see Ariel, and now we are going to the Arabian coast. As soon as you walk into the Arabian coast port, you get a huge whiff of this aroma of Middle Eastern food. I love it. 
It's Jafar, Brandy. It's Jafar! It's Jafar. <laughs> I've never seen him. This carousel is super empty, so we're gonna try to find the entrance real quick and head on. Time to get off. Ooh, how do I get off? The themes here are literally so detailed. Even the food is like correlated to the area of the park you're in. Here we're in the Middle Eastern area, so you have curry, you have tandoori chicken, coconut custard. This place goes all out. It's easy to forget that we're in Japan when we were just in Italy and now we're just in the Middle East. <laughs> so now we're going on Simbad Storybook Voyage. I've honestly never seen Simbad. was more of an Aladdin kid myself. Still really excited. <laughs> Yeah, what do you guys think of Sinbad? It was wild. <laughs> it was really fun. I thought it was cool how the animatronics were very human-like in their mannerisms. Mm -hmm. Like it didn't seem like they just were doing like two different things and then it was on a loop. It didn't seem like it was on a loop at all, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This place is literally so big, like so much to do. You kind of just have to pick and choose your own adventure here. <laughs> I've kind of forgotten how many different things Disney has going on, but you have like all the different parks and then you have the different characters running around. You can get popcorn with like different themed buckets. There's literally so much happening. There's so much depth to this theme park. It's just really cool. Like you could, I feel like you could stay here for weeks and not see everything. We have now made it to Port Discovery and are going on a Finding Nemo ride. That one was crazy because it affected like all your senses. It threw water at you, it blew you, wind in your face, it had like TVs on all different sides. The whole thing was vibrating, it was super cool. It was literally so fun, totally 4D. It was like you go into this like theater-like room, but then it literally turns into a ship. So fun. currently at the American Waterfront Port, which is kind of like New England vibes. Got the water and the architecture, super cool. And we're currently going to eat at the Cape Cod Cook-Off. We're gonna get some fries, maybe some chicken nuggets. It's gonna be great. One pulled pork cheeseburger set. Yes. What did you guys get? All right, so <laughs> Wyatt's vegetarian, so we got two salad in a cup yeah. and two fries. <laughs> but I got the pulled pork cheeseburger set. Wait, it's pulled pork? 
That's what it says, but it doesn't <laughs> look like pulled pork. Pulled pork pate. Uh, yeah, pate. <laughs> like a patty. Seriously, I guess. Disney seafood mm -hmm. is pretty good. So around Tokyo Disney Sea, they have this character called Duffy the bear. So they have Duffy and friends, and it's specific only to Tokyo Disney Sea. So if you want to get little Duffy ears, like Brandy's wearing, like Brandy's wearing. Hello. <laughs> it's so hard to tell apart the food and ride lines here. <laughs> All right, we are at the Mysterious Island Port. It should be a great time. We're gonna do the journey to the center of the Earth ride, which is like one of the highlights here at Disney Sea. We're super pumped. Yeah! The ride is actually in the volcano, and it's gonna go up to 75 kilometers per hour. A real roller coaster. This literally feels like a real cave. I know, it's so lifelike. It's awesome. Even the waiting lines are fun because you can just appreciate all the work that went into making this place as detailed as it is. Yeah, shout out to those Imagineers. Literally. Who, yeah, they do all the research and it looks so realistic. Great job, guys. Wow, <laughs> journey to the center of the earth was nuts. <laughs> it was so fun. Literally, they had this surprise drop at the end. Such a thrill ride, I love it. It was crazy, they had these monsters, there was flame, there were all these different species. Of... It just really made you feel like you were like way deep down, thousands of miles inside of our planet. Wow. It was so fun. This Definitely recommend. For sure. And it was only a 45 minute wait. Yeah, not too bad. All right, we are at the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea ride in the volcano. Let's check it out. What are your thoughts on 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? It was all right. It was a little bit hard to see in the pods, but it was cool. Yeah, it was sweet. It was interactive. You had like your own little joystick. Wasn't sure what it did, but you also saw a bunch of fish. It felt like you were that low underneath the ocean. Literally, yeah, it did. It did you, I honestly thought we were underwater for a bit. <laughs> it was really cool. A lot of lights, fun little animatronics. Yeah, very realistic. Yeah, and it was not a long wait, so it was no. worth it. Yeah. Next up is another super popular ride, the Tower of Terror. Have you heard of it? You guys don't speak Japanese. The story is this guy Hightower, who is like a 1910s explorer guy, goes around the world collecting all sorts of cool artifacts and art. So he has all this stuff, and one of the things he loots on all his adventures is a haunted little tiki that puts a curse on him. And so this is his hotel that you're in, and you go up the elevator and you encounter this haunted tiki and then it sets off the ride, right? You're cursed to and falling to your death, you know, and all that stuff. So. Oh, fun! I don't know, it was, it was probably just as good as the Indiana Jones and uh, journey to the center of the earth. So was it worth 90 minutes? Not sure, but it was so fun. <laughs> it was crazy. I'm still freaking out. I screamed probably the loudest in that entire elevator. <laughs> Just getting to go in Tower of Terror for the first time was worth it. <laughs> what do you think, Alan? Uh, it's pretty short for what it was. I feel like they shortened the ride. How long was it? Uh, oh, wait. It, it was over 90 minutes. It was like uh, 97 when we got on. Wow.
What flavor of popcorn did you guys get? We got matcha flavored white chocolate popcorn. Or what was it? <laughs> matcha chocolate popcorn. Okay. It was good. Super good. Tastes kind of like tea, but <laughs> it's really crunchy and sweet. Yeah, really crunchy, really sweet. Mm. Let's get some of that crunch. Oh. <laughs> Here. Somebody om nom. <laughs> Is that sound effect just gonna be next level? Yeah. You just had to get it. You had to get it because it's so I wanna try it. I wanna try it. And at the at nighttime the lines are way, way less long too. Everybody's had dinner. I have a mic on. Mmm, I like that one. I know. You like the matcha better? Uh-huh. <laughs> I like the caramel. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. my favorite. They're both good in their own way. Which one do you like better? <laughs> Honest opinion. Probably caramel. Caramel. <laughs> oh, Christmas! What a great way to end the day with just a huge firework display. That was amazing. Yeah, it was so fun. We rode some awesome rides. We got some great popcorn, great food. It's some amazing time with our friends. If we go to Brandy and Allen, if you haven't subscribed then, make sure to go subscribe. Yep, we'll see you guys later. Peace out, bye. Wish you could. Wow, Mickey Mouse soap. <laughs> Mickey Mouse soap in the bathrooms. That is next level right there.